Hi, my name is Scott and 3FJP and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to recover if your server goes down at your field day site and you need to recover from backup. Now I get a lot of questions in advance which is good on how to do this. Fortunately this uh, rarely actually happens in the field but if you do have a problem with the with your server here's what you would have to do. Um, first make sure before the contest starts click file backup options and make sure that you have checked write a permanent backup of your log every 15 minutes too and then your default file backup location so make sure the second option is checked and it should be by default this program is set up as a client I am reading the data in file share hosted by Affirmatech-2 on another PC which is acting as a server. So to simulate a server failure I'm going to go ahead and shut down Affirmatech-2. Okay so the software is telling us it's no longer able to, to connect to the log file. If the server is down but it's going to be up shortly you can click OK and close this message box and then press the escape key and that will reconnect but if your server is really down and you're having trouble and you need to restore from backup go ahead and click OK. Now our 526 records are gone but not to worry because we had backup enabled so we no longer have access to the server so the first thing we have to do is open a local log file we'll click file open select the local file which currently does not have any data and then we just need to populate it with the back with our most recent backup so to do that we click file import ADIF click OK because you're not connected to any other servers at this point we go to our backup file and this is 2015 field day I will double click that and then we find our most recent backup we double click that it imports and voila our 526 records are back and right now we are good to go if we want to operate standalone another option you can click file save as save the data to a location that's accessible to all the PCs on your network and make this PC the server and ideally you want to do that from the PC with the most recent data. So that's all there is to it. Um, thanks for watching. Again, my name's Scott and 3FJP. Take care and God bless.